Cold Day here at Humor Mill TV on the red carpet of the after party, the rap party of Love That Girl, new season, second season, with the executive producer, writer, and damn, you do everything else on the show of Mr. Bentley Evans. Hey, you forgot director, man. I directed all, well, I directed, we just shot 33 episodes. Oh, I didn't know you directed them, too. Wow. I directed 32 of the 33. So why didn't you do the last one? Well, because I owed somebody a favor. <laughs> <laughs> well, new season now, and I know there's a new premise on the new season. Can you tell everybody out there what's the new premise of the new season, the new spin? Well, would love that girl. Um, so the new premise is it's more of an ensemble piece. The uh, I think the, the, the crowd favorite is for I'm Unique, who play, who's played by Brisha Webb. She's more the center of, uh, of the show now. Um, uh, Tatiana Ali, who we love, who is still a producer on the show, uh, made an exodus. She, uh, her character, takes off to reconnect with her ex-husband, and so Latrell's character is left, kind of like holding the bag with the condo. So I'm unique moves in to help him pay the rent. So we we got we're covering so many different things this season. We got so many guest stars. Ben Vereen was here the day before yesterday. Uh, uh, George Wallace was here. Kel Mitchell did did his uh, his come through. D-Ray came through here and absolutely destroyed the place with, with comedy. So many more. John Hinton from Living Single came through here. Mari Morrow, uh, Christoph St. John. So many, so many uh, uh, classics from all the older sitcoms back in the 90s and the early 2000s. We're revamping and we're bringing sitcom back to TV in a major way. So besides the obvious reason of the change of the direction of the show, what, do you, what did you notice the difference of you know, putting together the second season? Well, it's, it's actually not the second season, it's actually the fourth season. Fourth season. The way they break it up. But um, what did I notice different? I think what I, what I noticed was that all the cast members were not really being serviced, so you really didn't know what they could do as individuals. And now we, we, you know, we got in there and started writing to their strength. We found some really, really solid pieces with, with Phil Morris, uh, uh, Alfonso McCulley, they better watch him. He should be playing Richard Pryor. That's who they should get for Richard Pryor, Alfonso McCulley. He looks like a young uh, Pryor. And just the improvisational skills that all these people have. Mario did the show yesterday. He came through here and lit it up. He plays his drug dealer. We, we, uh, we added a little drama to, it, to the show this year, still comedy, but we had a little dramatic piece that's going to make a uh, you know, it's gonna turn it up a little bit. It's gonna make everybody pay attention to love that girl. So you did more character development of the show to expand that out. So uh, since you're doing so much character development, is it possible for maybe a, a spin-off show also? You know, we would like to spin it off maybe into something else. I mean, it's just something that we would have to talk about and figure out what that best spin-off would be. Um, what character or would it be bringing in a new character and spinning that character off? But, you know, we got another show that's, uh, that we're getting ready to go into production on for TV One as well uh, called Family Time. You may have remembered, uh, I think you were the first one to break the story. And uh, Family Time, we did six episodes. We're getting ready to shoot seven more in about uh, eight weeks. But in two weeks from now, I'm going up in production with a new show called My Crazy Roommate. We're shooting 10 episodes for the Bounce Network. And uh, we're, we're blazing, starring uh, Brittany Richards and Layla Odom. And uh, I got to tell you something, these girls, are, not only are they pretty, they can go. So they got that comic thing with them. And um, it's kind of like a black Laverne and Shirley. So I got other shows going. The spinoffs may happen, but uh, just keep, I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm telling you, I am trying to change the game by bringing a, a bunch of uh, uh, African-American themed um, comedies back to TV in the sitcom format. That's my goal. So, last question is, uh, obviously you're bringing in other shows and everything else. If Tatiana comes back, would that be a sp spinoff show possible with I'm Unique leaving and then getting her own spinoff show? Is that the direction you're trying to go? I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a major possibility. I mean, like I said, I would love for Tatiana Ali to come back in the next uh, incarnation of, of episodes. I'm hoping we get at least to do 35 more to make a, a nice, well, 100-episode package, and that would be uh, really big for an independent company to have pulled off that feat. So this is the real honest to goodness last question. Brother, we know, you, we know you're doing TV One, we know you're doing Bounce. Anything, in the, you know, obviously in the near future, trying to get something like a CBS, an ABC, NBC? You know what, I mean, realistically, it's, it's, it's all about content at this point. And um, it's like whoever needs the content, um, you know, I, I'm there to distribute it to them. And I, I would love to have something on the big, you know, the big three networks, the ABC, the CBS, and yeah. Fox, and, and uh, I missed one. Uh, what, what's the one I missed? I missed it, but uh, NBC, I think. Yeah. But um, I would love to have something on there. But, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time. Right now, T I, I figured out a niche, 
and um, you know we're, we're doing these things for for a price and and uh, we got a business model that, that just works uh, you know scripted over reality I'm not really a big reality guy so I love scripted so I, I think um, I think maybe you'll you'll start hearing buzzes soon and we'll end up on one of those big networks with something because they need African-American content right, they do. how can everybody follow you you can follow me at Bentley Evans on uh, on Twitter uh, at Bentley Evans and then uh, Bentley Evans on Facebook. Um, I'm always there. Ben, at Bentley Evans, I think on Instagram. Please follow me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm always doing some crazy tweets and fun and keeping everybody informed on what's going on in Black Hollywood. When's this airing? This we don't have a, a air date yet. It's going to air the fall of this year, uh, 2013, I believe October. No real uh, uh, air date yet. So we're just working that out right now. Network is uh, figuring out what their scheduling is going to be, and so. But we're, we're coming strong, man. It's, it's better than ever. Thank you for taking our time. Thank you.